low middle income people, poor people. I think it especially hits hard low middle income people who are trying to make it on their own and won't go on the dole because their prices go up more and they're the first ones to lose their job. When the business cycle turns down, uh, the Federal Reserve by increasing the credit creates the boom part of the cycle, but then there's always the resulting uh, downturn uh, of the cycle when uh, un unemployment rises. And I, I remember clearly in, 19, in the 1970s uh, that uh, phenomenon that seemed to baffle the economists at that time, but not the Austrian economists, not uh, Mises and, and, and Rothbard, because uh, at that time the economy turned down, we had a weak economy, and prices were going up. And so they had to come up with this new term, oh, we have stagflation, I wonder where it came from. Uh, inflation measure no longer measures uh, the cost of maintaining a, a constant standard of living. And the effect is that had these changes not been made, Social Security checks would be about double what they are today. So they, for political reasons on both sides of the aisle, nobody wanted to vote against Social Security. Nobody will talk about uh, bringing Social Security under control. They changed the uh, inflation reporting. And that's the way this place operates. During the conservative era, real wages rose, while during the progressive era, real wages have been almost flat since 1972. Average earnings peaked uh, back in 1973, before the onset of the 73-75 recession. Never recovered since, still down about 10 percent year over year. Um, the effect there was that as uh, individuals could not make ends meet, that of course reduced family income. Back in the 70s it was more common that uh, a household would uh, have one person working, usually the husband with the, the wife staying home with the kids. Today normally you have at least two people working uh, in a family, but the families are still not making uh, ends, ends meet. Days. 